Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to mask surface tension using a sub volume field. It's based off a question from my patron only Discord channel. And yeah, let's, let's dive in and see how it's done. Okay, and this is the scene I'm going to be applying it to. It's a simple flip setup uh, with some, some flip fluids being emitted from a ring with some outwards velocity and some noise on it. Since it's a quick tip, I'm not going to go through the whole setup. And I think if you're if you're looking at setting up something like this, you could probably manage setting up a flip setup. And also the scene will be available to pick apart to all my patrons. Okay, so this, yeah, this is our basic simulation. And I'll just add some surface tension to that. So I'll go into the flip solver and turn on surface tension and just set it to a really high value. It's a bit over the top, but uh, let's hit play. Give that some time to cook. And you can see there's very strong surface tension being applied to this liquid. But what if we want to mask it? So if we jump up, I've already created this box, uh, turn it into a VDB, and it's just called density. And you'll see if I template the source, it's sitting halfway, cutting through the middle. So if I only want everything inside the box to have surface tension applied to it, I can go into the flip simulation. And the easiest way to do this is just by using a wrangle, or you can use a gas field pop as well. But I'll get a gas field wrangle. gas field wrangle and that's going to go into the volume velocity so if we hit play on the simulation just stop in a couple of frames if you middle click like you'll see there's a surface pressure field and that's what's controlling the surface tension force so that's the field we need to control and we simply need to multiply it by that density field so we can say at surface pressure, and then we need to sample that field from SOPS. So do, to do that, I'm getting a volume sample, and I wanna sample the first input, which I still need to set up. Um, and I want to sample that field, which is called density. And I want to sample at the current position. And this should actually be times equals. And then you just have to make sure an input, so that input one, which is the second input, is set to SOPS. And I'm going to jump up two levels and get that null called mask related to our mask field. And now if we hit play and give it a couple of frames, you can immediately see that that mask is only affecting the one side of the simulation and we're getting this strong surface tension on the one, one end and no surface tension at all on the other end. So that's a very simple way to do this. And let's just call this um, soft mask. Uh, there's one other way to do this as well. And that's by importing the field into DOPS and then multiplying by the field. So to do that, you'd add an extra field to the simulation. So you get a soft scalar field because it's a scalar. You can stick it in there and you can use a sub dimension so you don't have to set that up. And then point that to the mask. And importantly for this, we'd have to give it a name in DOPS. So I'm just going to call it my mask. And let's just copy over the triangle. 
and let's call it dog mask. Maybe let's just give them two colors so they're different. So this one, this one doesn't need any extra inputs. And I'm just going to deactivate and hit play. And you'll see once I've done this, if I middle click, we should have an extra field called my mask. We can now just multiply by at my mask like that. And if I hit play, I should be getting the same result. Yeah, you can see we've got surface tension strong on the one side and nothing on the other side. That's working as well. Both methods are fairly similar in speed. And the reason you'd want to know both is, for example, if you're not using this surface tension, so let's turn off surface tension and you're using what's it, the gas surface tension node. Uh, if you're using this node, it doesn't have a handy wrangle. You need to create this mask field. So then bringing in the field this way, you can just write my mask and give this a really strong value. And this should be masked as well. So yeah, that's two ways of bringing in sub data into DOPS to manipulate fields in the flip solver. I hope you find this useful and find some good applications for this. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye. If you want to see more videos like this, go check out my Patreon page at Patreon forward slash Zebrand or follow me on Vimeo. And if you're not a Patreon yet, please consider subscribing and gaining access to some Patreon only content. And as always, to all my patrons, thank you very much. I can't do this without you guys.